life. It's what we make it in so many different ways. The little doggy didn't like it this morning. Very upset about the cold weather. We had a southerly blown and he jumps out. <laughs> He's gone. He ran away. Come back. Naughty little dog. Come back. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. And this happens to us sometimes, doesn't it? Things get away on us. And, and a lot of things we can't control. People have got a mind of their own and they're going to do what they think is best for them. And we do too. And we don't always get it right. We just don't always get it right. But we should learn from our mistakes and we should learn what, from what gives us life and from what takes away from our life. So I've retrieved the little doggy. I'm going to put him back in his front compartment. He's not happy. It's really cold. And we're away when you paddle out into a relationship and you're trying to manage all the dynamics and dimensions of how that works it's fair to say it can be challenging at the least but it's also fair to say it's the excitement of being with someone that brings life Happiness is when we share with somebody else in a way in which they find peace, serenity, satisfaction, and acceptance. This is some breeze block work we did at Lake Macquarie Shopping Centre in Newcastle. It's good to have many skills. It's good to continue to learn and grow. And we've got to take that all the way up to there and we'll see what happens as we go along. <coughs> Back to the doggy. He's not happy at all. And we can end up unhappy in our relationships too. And how do we find resolve? Well, one way or another we can find it. It's there for us if we want it. And it's only fair if somebody asks for us a way to fix things and heal things that we find a way. Sometimes we get ourselves in situations that we can't, just can't fix. And that can be hard because it's going to cost us. Sometimes we're in situations where the person that we're with does something stupid. Or we do something stupid. And again, it costs. It costs incredibly. What's the price that we're willing to pay to have a fantastic relationship? Things are easy to start. But in the end, it all comes down to how we journey. A lot of people get what they want like a little baby. They have to see somebody else wanting what they want. And then they'll want it again. The fad wears off. And it's not until somebody else wants what they want 
that they want it again. That's what a little child's like. And we're hiding out of the storm under the bridge. He wasn't happy at all, the little doggy. Why do we start things and then disintegrate? Why do we meet people and then allow our life circumstances and the people around us to interfere? Why can't we just protect our privacy, our intimacy, from interference? What is that about us? Where we just let people come in and start to dictate their terms on us. What's that called? Stay strong. What's that called? Negligence, maybe? Maybe we've got what we've wanted and now we've lost our value for it. Sometimes if we get things too easy, we lose our way. We lose what's important. We can do better than that. We can say, right, this is important to me and I want to invest and I want to be important to the person that I'm with. If they lose importance in you, that's on them if you're on point. And you have to be aware if somebody's going to fade away or disintegrate, that's on them. That's not on you. And we take too much upon ourselves to try and bring somebody into a place where we want them instead of where they're really at. We lose our concept of where the other person's really at. We lose the perspective of how we need to understand that sometimes people just fade away from us and as I said before like a child with a toy that they're tired of it's not until somebody else picks up that toy and shows interest in it that the child comes back there's that finished block work beautiful isn't it it's good to have skills Took us a couple of hours. And when the child sees somebody else playing with the toy that they're tired of, guess what happens? They want it back. This is Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist. Thank you for joining me. And bye for now.